Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Got a lot to talk about tonight. So yesterday, uh, again, I just kind of go over and it kind of really spilled over into today and there's a reason for it. Um, yesterday, I, I was really frustrated. I mean, I really was. Uh, I, I don't even know if I even echoed how much the frustration was because I, I couldn't figure out um, why the trade on Tesla didn't work. It, it didn't bother me for two, three hours uh, after the close and after I recorded and all that good stuff. And it, the most important part is why it bothered me was because I couldn't figure out why, right? I couldn't figure out why this happened. And you know, there's an old adage on Wall Street that says somebody always knows something, okay? And if you guys remember the opening range yesterday, and this is a very, very important, uh, you know, very, very important part of uh, today's session. If you look at the opening range here that I bought, that I got long, that you know, I got hit pretty hard on, there was a pretty notable reload seller there, right? And I'm trying, and I was trying to figure out, well, why is this guy selling here? Why didn't he sell it uh, five dollars lower? Why didn't he sell it? You know, all that good stuff. And I couldn't figure it out, and I just chalked it up to, you know, things happen. And this morning we wake up. And um, you talk, you talk about, you talk about again somebody knowing something. Um, he unloaded a lot of shares yesterday, right in that range. And you woke up this morning and you see Tesla, um, you know, down, you know, down 30, 40 bucks, whatever it was, went down all the way down to seven twelve, right? It was down like forty dollars or so, and you saw that headline, right? Uh, it's it's uh, Tesla is uh, raising capital. And again, people are going to turn around and say, well, why didn't they you know, raise this capital? Why didn't they talk about raising this capital on earnings? It would have been perfect, right? That was like kind of the, the bear case. And a lot of people turn around and say, well, this thing's going to go down to 650. And I said, well, probably it will, right? Probably it will. Um, and the most amazing thing happened. The most absolutely amazing thing happened. Um, it held this longer term wedge, right? It held this longer term range and started rallying. And it got stronger and stronger and stronger. The one thing what I talked about last night when we kind of exited the video, okay, I said it was incredibly important to take whatever happened to you, okay, this day or the previous day, and you got to push it to the side. The, the faster you push it to the side, the clearer your mind will be. Uh, going to the next trading day, um, you will trade much more clearer without a bias, without any hatred, without any revenge. And the most important thing is you are going to be very, very flexible. If you dwell on things, we talked about this last night, if you dwell on a bad day and dwell on a day you can't get, you know, you can't get anything right, or it's just life's not fair and trading is not fair and the stock is not fair and everything's not fair, it's going to spill over. So that was the first thing I did. So when I saw this news this morning, I giggled, right? I, get, I mean, what are you going to do? It's done, right? You can't, you can't be, oh, God, you, F you. No, you, know, you start laughing, you know, what can you do? It's over. And the most important part today was let's find value. And, and I'll tell you one thing. I will tell you, because we are in such a linear market right now, and I think the people in the live webinar will agree with this, I think there's so much value on remount bounce plays. Okay? I mean, really, really big, really, really big value. And with, 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 for, for all you guys who've never seen uh, any of the three workshops, I actually cover a lot of that more on workshop number three, then I believe on workshop number two. I don't think I covered that on workshop number two. And we obviously talk about this all day uh, in the live webinar. A remount basically, here, let me just give you, give you an idea. The remount basically is a strong stock or a weak stock, but you know, let's talk about it from the bull market point of view. Um, if you look at the 60 minute view, right? Every single level needs to be held and then remounted. So for example, if this bottom here is Let's just say is 622, uh, 722, and it goes through and it remounts to 722. There's a very, very high probability it's going to continue to go higher. And we've been trading these plays for a very, very, very long time. And especially in a linear market, because of the strength, you're always going to have some pretty good aggressive selling into rising support. And you hear me talk about uh, stocks into rising support all the time. And once you let it go through that support, right, and remount back, reclaim it back. 
there's a very, very good chance that it, it, it snaps back. And today, in my opinion, um, we had a lot of good stuff today. Okay, that's the way, that's the way of saying it. stuff. Good technical word for uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, pivots, pivots or remounts. Um, and the reason why I say that there was so much going on that there was something for everybody. And again, there's a big misconception in, in, in because of the word pivot. And you hear me talk about Amazon and Facebook and Tesla and Netflix. People think again that it's only you need like a two hundred fifty thousand, three hundred thousand dollar account. And the reality is, yeah, only if you're trading. You know, if you know, if you, have, you need some capital if you're trading Amazon and you know Tesla and stuff like that. But if, if you're trading, you know, if you're trading twenty, thirty, forty dollar stocks, again, keep this in mind. The process is the process. It doesn't make a difference if you're trading a two dollar stock or trading a fifty, fifteen hundred dollar stock. The most important part is the stock, the asset class, Bitcoin, crypto, forex futures, anything you want in between. As long as there's a range and there's volume, you can trade. It, okay, and that's exactly what we saw today. And I'll show you uh, the Twitter feed in a second. But this day started very, very. It started very, very. Innocently, right? Tesla's re amazing recovery, absolutely amazing recovery. And right around here, you see the 761 here? I said, if this thing can reclaim 761, I think there's a shot of bounces. Now, again, my first thought process was I thought it was going to bounce to like seven, I think I was talking about like 775, right? 775, 77. And then I said, well, if it reclaims that, there's a lot higher prices. And I, I, I will tell you, you know, I'll be the first person to say, okay, I, I, I will be the first person to tell you that I would prefer to trade Tesla how it was trading three, four, five hundred dollars a share because the spreads were tighter, the liquidity is really, really great, and you didn't need a 900 point move to make money, okay? You could have made money, really good money on a two, three dollar move, four dollar move would be extraordinary. But since we're here, your exposure like is this, right? Your exposure is tremendous and you have to trade smaller shares and you have to make the bigger move. And with all that comes ridiculous amounts of anxiety, right? Uh, whipsaw exposure. So as great as this looks on paper, right? Phenomenal, right? It looks fantastic on paper. Remount 761, the thing goes to 820, blah, blah, blah. That's fantastic. But for all of us who were trading Tesla today, Okay, and yes, it exploded, and there wasn't really a lot of pain at all because once it started reclaiming 761, it was actually pretty orderly. If you saw that interval, it was 763, 765. There was a reload seller at 65, but once they cleared out that 65, okay, once they cleared out the 65, you can see it here, it just exploded. I mean, absolutely exploded. I know a lot of you guys are still holding a runner overnight. Congratulations. Mentally, again, I would rather go back to trading the stock when it's trading at a $2 interval than a $40 interval. But again, maybe one day, right? Fingers crossed. So Tesla kind of uh, set the tone in the day. Uh, mentally, I think a lot of people were really happy about that because again, you don't need to dwell on anything yesterday or, or any day, uh, any random day that you lost money in. Uh, it was very, very important to get back on the horse, but to get on the horse technically. There was no revenge trading. There was nothing uh, to the sort. So Tesla exploded, right? Really, really exploded. But if you look at if you look at the Twitter feed, right? I mean, there was literally uh, something for anybody, something for everybody. And I, I think that was the biggest. Um, I, I think that was the biggest point. Okay, uh, today provided a lot of value. Okay, it really did. It provided a lot of value. Um, and I thought there was, it was a very orderly day. Um, I really like, um, I really, really like what I saw from, uh, from the bulls. They did a great job. And the first thing I said, uh, first thing I said this morning was when we started gapping down 200 points, the market's not a short. It, 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 when it becomes a short is when the bulls stop defending bottom range. This is not the first time uh, you guys heard me talk about this. It was so important for everybody to understand that a sell-off doesn't mean we're going lower. Right? Doesn't mean we're necessarily going to bounce back and go higher. But again, until technical reasons are telling you that there is a buyer strike and the bulls are not defending prices at the bottom, that's when you turn around, right? That's when you turn around and start looking for ideas to the short side. And again, bulls provided some phenomenal value here, right? Yesterday's you know daily pivot watch, you can see it again. There's, this has nothing to do, right? This has nothing to do with uh, thirteen dollar stock. Has nothing to do. 
uh, with Amazon or anything. But again, you can still trade exactly the same way. So uh, let's talk about it, guys. Uh, very, very uh, aggressive session. Uh, NOW, remember yesterday, NOW, was, uh, uh, the pivot was uh, 347, 348. I said there's a very, very good opportunity for this thing to go to 52 week highs. So it opened up down a dollar today. I said broke out yesterday. Watch the red to green. Again, no, this is not a pivot, just momentum. It needs to reclaim that 350, 80, 351 level. And NOW, again, just again, beautiful. It's just technical analysis. That's all it is. You know, it took it, it took out the 351. It took out the 52-week high, went as high as the 357. Uh, nice move there. Again, here's my point. You, you don't need a $5 million account to trade a $14 stock. A pivot is a pivot is a pivot, right? Wi-Fi, uh, 1345, 1350. Uh, if it builds above, it can go. Again, here's Wi-Fi, right? Here's Wi-Fi. Again, it has nothing to do with beta. You know, this thing tick out 1345, 1350, started building, closed at 14 bucks. You know, big move. Again, $14 stock. 50 cent move for a $14 stock. Again, that's a big move. It's not a, you know, it's not a small move. Again, AMAT. Again, do you really need a $12 million account to trade you know, AMAT? Again, not the biggest move, but again, 1690, uh, 68, if it builds, it can go. Here was AMAT, right? Here was AMAT, right? 68 went all the way up to 69 and a half. Again, is it the monster move of Tesla? Of course not, but again, does anybody raise your hand if you're gonna you know, turn down a $1.30, $1.40 move, okay? Again, BTAI, 22 needs to build. Again, this has nothing to do with having a $20 million account, right? Who the hell has a $20 million account, okay? Uh, BTAI, 22 needs to build. Again, again, a pivot is a pivot is a pivot. It took out the 22. This thing went to 25 bucks, guys. A $20 stock on a $3 move, huge move. I mean, absolutely huge move. So uh, shop was was uh, you know pretty solid here. 544 needs to build. You can see there's a lot of stuff going on here today. Uh, you know shop here is shop to 544 right. 544 needs to build. Uh, went to 554. A 10 point move on shop. Uh, Amazon not a big move. Uh, not a big move. They had that. Uh, they had that. Um, uh, that PR with uh, Microsoft, I forgot what it was. Something was good for Amazon, wasn't that great for uh, um, Microsoft. So Amazon went up like three, four dollars, no, nothing big, and they came back in. Uh, Facebook woke up, you know, Facebook woke up. Uh, we talked about this area here, uh, 1190, 12 needs to build, obviously, take along the way. Facebook exploded, I mean, really, really exploded. So here was the here is the, uh, here, excuse me, here is the 1190, right? Here's the 1190, $12 area. I mean, really had a big move to the 14s. Uh, so Facebook was very, very strong as well. As you can see, it was a you know, busy, busy uh, afternoon session here. Um, Wi-Fi new highs. So again, I, I think the moral of the story is it, when you are a new trader, you know, everybody, everybody hates losses. I hate losses, okay? I believe if you're going to work for a living and you put in, a good day of whatever profession you're in, you want to make sure you get compensated for it. So the idea of losing money sucks. But you know what? Again, as we said yesterday, everybody goes through it. Okay. It's all part of the game. Okay. It's not, again, unfortunately, most of you guys, uh, only exposure you have to trading is social media where everything is, is rosy and it's gumdrops and it's day at the beach and it's happy and it's booms and it's so much fun. I don't know what they're talking about. I've never experienced this in 20 years. Right, I've never, I'm, I give you my word. I've never experienced the joy and euphoria and gumdrops and, and 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 licorice any of my 20 years. Okay, it's work. It's a lot of work and it's really really hard. So you have to really understand all the dynamics behind it before you can call yourself right a professional trader. Because again, if you don't understand all the moving parts, the losses, the sleepless nights, and most important, how to get rid of those losses how to get rid of those uh, 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 sleepless nights and how to kind of omit the negative impact of what you're seeing in your trading career that's stopping you from kind of getting into that next uh, phase of your trading, you're not going to, okay? So it's very, very important to embrace the losses, embrace the days you can't get going, embrace the downtime because again, it's gonna make you stronger, it's gonna make you thicker skin and the most important thing is gonna make you resilient and make you a more mature uh, trader. So going into tomorrow again, uh, big numbers over. You know, big numbers tonight. You had uh, Roku come out with really good numbers. Uh, Nvidia, you know, monster move on Nvidia. So again, are they going to have a positive positive effect on beta and everything else for tomorrow? Maybe, right? Maybe the market's still very very strong. Um, let me give you guys some ideas uh, for tomorrow. Okay, let me give you guys some ideas that are non-beta. Again, guys, you don't need 
to trade beta to trade the PS60 theory. A again, it just it doesn't make sense. Uh, ADAPT, right? ADPT, a name. Looks pretty good here. Keep an eye on this thing, guys. Uh, set an alert for 33. If this thing gets above this 33 area, it might explode. It doesn't trade as thick as you want it, but it's a good looking setup. So if it does start to confirm that 30, excuse me, not 33, 34, right? 34 area. If it confirms the 34 area, was it 33 or 34? Hold on. Uh, 33, 33. Yep, 33. Sorry about that. If it confirms the 33 area, uh, good looking chart there. Uh, AXNX, again, uh, again, non non beta, right? Thirty five dollar stock. Uh, if it starts reclaiming thirty four, that's where it got rejected today. If it starts reclaiming thirty four, it can go as well. Uh, ZS looks pretty interesting as well. Keep an eye on ZS. If it starts building above, you know, sixty two seventy sixty three, I think you can start your next leg up. And the last one, keep an eye on, is NXTC. I had this really big run. Looks like I had an offering. Went sideways. Went higher. Came back in. It's popping up here, right? It's popping up on this little intermediate supply. If it can reclaim tomorrow, you know, 48.20, 48.30, um, I think there's a shot it has to run. Obviously, it has, it has a lot of history of making big moves. So, guys, have a great night today. Again, just, just relax, calm down. Everybody goes through everything, the good, the bad, the ugly. Guys, God bless. Love you all. See you tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.